Hello and welcome to Valor Points. I am Dr. Crumbles and today we are bringing you our very first Diablo 3 video. I am super excited because at the time of recording the expansion is less than a week away. I can't wait to play Reaper Souls, but in the meantime I've been really enjoying this new Diablo patch with the loot 2.0 changes. Since there really isn't much to do into ROS, I've really just been leveling alts as well as doing some XP runs. Gear farming really isn't a priority right now since everything is about to be replaced. I've been watching a few streamers and some YouTubers that are getting ready for Reaper Souls as well, and I thought I'd bring you my own take on this XP run with my Demon Hunter. Now my Demon Hunter isn't very geared, in fact he was my very first D3 character and like a lot of players I neglected him for a long time. I finally came back to the game and since we have all this bonus XP I decided to boost him to 60 and I've been having a blast. But I'll just mention this again, he has bad gear. I mean really bad gear, really just a hodgepodge of stuff that I've found that isn't completely terrible. But I've been focused on grinding out some, some XP, and this particular run that I'm going to show you does give out some decent experience. Since my Demon Hunter isn't putting out the elite deeps, I'm going to show you how I complete this run, and how I'm able to do so in an efficient manner. From my understanding, if you were doing an XP run, you're going to have to be running on the highest difficulty possible, preferably Torment 6, but I've heard different opinions on the matter, especially with the higher Torment levels. And the bottom line is, if you just don't have the gear, there really isn't much you can do. I'm running at Torment 3 at the moment, and that's about the highest I can do this run efficiently at but your mileage may vary. All right, let's take a look at my build. I'm running a high burst DPS build that allows me to take down packs of enemies very quickly, but I am unable to sustain that amount of damage for very long. Uh, additionally, once I start getting hit, I go down fast, since I'm only running something like 860,000 toughness, which probably isn't enough. Now this entire build is based around Cluster Arrow with Loaded for Bear. This is how you're gonna do your high burst damage. For my left click, I'm using Grenade with Grenade Cash. You can also try out Chinkaroo here instead for the extra Hatred Regen, although for this particular run, I don't think it's necessary since you're not going to be able to do a lot of left clicking. Number one is going to be Vault with Tumble. This is my CC Breaker as well as my Speed Increase. Other possible choices for this slot are Smokescreen with Displacement, but it's up to personal preference in my opinion. Number two is Companion with Bad Companion. This is a great passive hatred regen as well as on-demand instant 50 hatred every 30 seconds. I can see other animals working here, especially Boar Companion to help take some of the pressure off, but I'm using Templar, which is doing most of my tanking for me. Plus, I really value the extra hatred that Bat gives me since Cluster Earl is a hatred hog. Number three is probably the only other skill that is required for this run. A preparation with punishment. This basically helps restore hatred at the cost of 25 discipline. Number four is Reign of Vengeance with Shade. This is a great skill since it's basically bonus damage every 30 seconds. It costs no resources. You can also try out some different runes here if you'd like. I like Shade. Your mileage may vary. My passive skills are Grenadier. This helps increase the damage of grenades as well as the explosion sides. This really is great because it benefits both Grenade and Cluster Arrow. Night Stalker, which uses critical hits to restore one discipline, which in turn gives me more preparation, which in turn gives me more hatred, which in turn gives me more Cluster Arrow. Great skill. Blood Vengeance basically increases my hatred by 25 to begin with, but every health globe that also heals me will also give me 30 hatred and 3 discipline. So it's win-win for me. Okay, let's get started. For this run, you'll want to change the quest to Act 2, Number 4, A Royal Audience. The really nice thing about this run is that there actually are no elite or champion packs, which makes things go really fast. But also, if you're a little bit undergeared like my Demon Hunter is, I have a really hard time taking out a champion by myself. So this really speeds up the run. Talk to Tyrael, get his quest, skip all of his dialogue. Basically, we're going to head over to where we eventually will fight Belial. One of the other tips to do, if you haven't done so already, is go to Options, Gameplay, and then automatically skip all cutscenes. This is going to help skip some of the RP elements. That'll make this run more efficient and faster. Uh, you can manually skip them yourself, but this just kind of helps. Talk to Ashira, skip off her dialogue, and run over to where she's going to be standing. Talk to her again. And you'll immediately go into the first pack. Now, there's three main packs in this run. This is going to be the first one. This is going to be required. This is the only out of the three that are required. Basically, I like to gather them all up, go stand behind my Templar, and start blowing off some cluster arrows, do some preparations on a Reign of Vengeance to clean them all up. And they go down pretty fast. We need to leave before more guards arrive. Once they're all dead, you can actually go through this area. Sometimes there's a chest right up here, as you can see this time. I like to grab it just for fun. 
kind of slows you down, but also has a chance to spawn over here or somewhere along the walk. The problem is when it, when it spawns out here, it's really difficult to get since it does slow you down a lot and you have a chance to get caught behind a lot of the enemies. You go in this second area here, you want to destroy these four constructs. They're one-shottable, but they will advance the quest to the next area. So here I like to gather them all up again, get behind my Templar, blow off some cluster arrows, Reign of Vengeance, Preparation, Bat Companion, another Preparation, and they should be all dead by now. There's a few stragglers here, no problem. Throw some grenades to finish them off. Not too bad. You want to continue down this path. Again, skip them all. Now, this is where the run uh, kind of changes a little bit. I've seen them done different ways by different people. A lot of people will just skip this last little pack here and go right down to the sewers just and complete the quest, which is one way of doing it. I find it doesn't take too long to kill this pack as long as you don't get caught behind them like that. Stay behind the Templar again. Reign of Vengeance, Preparation, Cluster Arrow, Cluster Arrow, Cluster Arrow, Bat Companion and a few grenades to finish them off. So perfect. They're all dead. Run down the sewer, and just for that little time that we spent, we've got 3 million XP, 3.6 million XP actually, and 30,000 gold. Take the waypoint back to the hidden camp. You wanna leave the game. And now you can go back to the game settings and reset the quest to roll audience and start over again. So I really hope this has been helpful to you. And I hope I can bring you some more Diablo 3 videos in the future, especially with Reaper Souls just around the corner.